quite a beautiful place. Beautiful cops there. Can't see the the bench anymore in the field. That field there, that corn field there. I will. I might go up there another time. Another time. Um, there are cows down there, but I've got a feeling they. Are, I don't have to go in that field. What I remember, they're fenced off. Unless they can get in through a gate, of course, down there. We'll see. Usually they're not. They'll see, the path that I normally go down is very... Well, basically, they're not really looking after this bit very much. So the posts are nearly all falling down. There used to be a proper track. Um, let's just climb over and have a look. Yeah, we used to have to walk along here all the way down, which I'll do in a minute, but because it's clearer out this way, I'm going to walk out here. And then, look, there's Brent Knoll Head. Basically, when there's the big farm, great big house, the owners of the orchards and all that, I mean, it could even be something to do with Thatcher's, couldn't it, that live there? Such a big house. And um, there's always dogs bark when you go down there. I remember that bench up in that cornfield. It was beautiful. It was positioned right on the top. And I had a lovely picnic there. That was in 2010. That's nine years ago. When I first started to explore this area because I'd come to live in Weston. I came to live in Weston 13 years ago. It's gone ever so quickly. Only seems like last year that we moved out of our big house and uh, started a new life. If that's a different story though, we won't go down that one. Yeah, so we pick up the little path now. It's just gone a bit astray back there. But this, this is beautiful. I've been down here when it is, I mean, it's warm now, but I've been down here when it's been baking hot. Baking. And you come down here and you just, I just love it. I just love it. And I, there have been cows in there before now. They usually sit up there and I've still been able to walk down. I don't know if we used to be in that side once. I'm not sure. I never remember. But I, it's almost as if they don't want us to use this path, really. Um, but it, and it doesn't look well used. But it is a lovely walk. There's that, that breeze is so beautiful. Now just imagine coming here in the winter, it would be freezing cold. You'd have to have a half flask of hot water. I think I have done it in the winter, but we don't really have freezing weather as such. Not really, we don't. I've got a spare memory stick. I'm doing a lot of videoing footage, actually. I've got an awful lot of WMV to do. I can't keep up with it, because it's got to be put on YouTube. And then save to disc, you know, you have to put the photos and the videos together. Now here we are, it's a lovely, we emerge out. I've got to take this in because, you know, it could be another year before I come down here again, you know, because there's so many walks I'm trying to fit in. And I've got, to, I've got to really stop here and look at this beautiful view. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Sheila, cut off shorts in the summer, in a beautiful summer set for the side. Beautiful. Got to be done. I do that now and again because I need to remind myself of how beautiful this is. You've got the river axe over there. I'll just zoom in. Down there you've got the river axe which goes to Cheddar, comes um, off Breen Down, or side of Breen Down, Western Supermare area, that river winds all around. And uh, yeah, it's a 
beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I, I, I can't be get over how beautiful it is, really. Look at that. And it's not even blue sky, but it's still beautiful. <sighs> There's a big house down here. And they've got, they own all these um, woods and that round here. It is, you know, it's how the other half live. And like I said, I do my family tree and I've got people along like 200 years ago now, uh, 250 years and back in time of the wealthy people in the family tree. And then uh, we lost it all. There might be more yet, more links. I'm only touch, scratching the surface, really. This is going down the maternal line. Um, the mum's side to the brooks of Oak and the Oaks of Cambridgeshire and the Stutfields and Isaacsons of Suffolk and Cambridgeshire. It's all very, very interesting stuff, folks. There's all orchards down here in a minute when we get further down you'll see all the they're gradually building up their apples. So this is cider country. Right, this fence seems to be repaired. I think last time I came here this was looking a little bit maybe they're working their way up the hill to repair that one at the top. So this looks like it's got a new sticker on it. Now, normally, I always get barked at by the dogs. Always, usually. I mean, they've had Dobermans before now. They always give me... A, I always think, God, I hope they don't get out, you know. So there we are. Beautiful walk. Really enjoying it. This is what I call absolute beauty, and it does... It's so good for you. I mean, I, I'm almost addicted to walking to, so that I get my fix of beauty. Um, some people take drugs, some people drink a lot of alcohol, some people smoke themselves. But me, this is what I've always liked it, mind. It's always been my saviour. Walking, getting out, or running. I used to run. But walking's different. It allows you to think in a different way. I mean, I used to run. And you do think. You do think of all sorts of things when you're running. Your brain's still working. That's a different experience because you're really pushing yourself much more physically uh, when you run. It's a different, it's a different, what, different thing. This in my sedentary years is nice. See that the butterflies, the blackberry bushes. The smell of the countryside, the beauty. Do you know, I hardly ever meet anyone. I've mean, I've met two people on horses. I've met two young women, smiling and happy and enjoying their walk with their dogs. That is good. And in there, in there is the the big house. Purposely built. It might have been an old farmhouse once. I don't know. It could have already been a house there and they built on it. You know, they change the look of them, don't they? Normally, when I get to about here, the dogs appear. They can smell you before they, they come over. They know. And I'm always talking to myself as well. I always hope they got... I always pray they got the gate shut, though. You know what I mean? It would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Because their dogs want to protect their property. Yeah. Lovely big house. I have seen them all sat outside before now. Having a glass of wine. And I've walked past. But they all keep to themselves, you know. Because there's a lot... I'm not saying a lot of people walk by here. But they probably are used to people like me. Drifting by, you know. But in a, in a minute we'll get this beautiful view again. A bit lower down this time. With crooks... With, um... 
Brent Knoll, look, coming into view there, see? Brent Knoll. You get around the corner, you see more. See, it opens up, look at that. They got the gate shut. This is called Hill, Hill Field Farm. Like I said, it might have been built on an original farm. And then and I've watched the, them grow their, um, develop their um, orchards. I should be walking back across fields over there. I'm just going to have a look to see where the cows are. I'll just zoom in a minute. So I've got to go, I'll be going down in front of that house. I go across some fields, sort of in front of that place, and go across and across. And then, there's a river there. The cows might be in a different field. They're there. I don't think I'd go near that field. Don't think I do. But I've got to go near that one and climb up the side. Ah, there's cows over there though. Look. That's where I've got to go eventually. I think that's where I've got to go, where they are there. But there might be a way I can cross a bridge and go on the other side. I'm looking now, just in case, I'm seeing if there's any cows on the other side of the river, because I could cross the river somewhere. And, um, yeah, down there, I reckon if I could get across the river, there used to be a bridge. Right, over now. That's where I've just come down from. There's Hillfield Farm. <laughs>